Hey there YouTube, well annoyingly enough I have to remake my uh, 155,000 mile update video on my TL here uh, and my lights just shut off um, because the other one got cut short and I'm not sure why so um, let's go ahead and start it up you can see the biggest update are my new 17 inch uh, Type S alloy wheels let me get my flashlight out here you can see they make the car look a lot better um, they came with Michelin Primacy MX M4 tires. They all, all four of them are those. Um, and all four wheels are in really good shape. They're uh, 17s, so they fill out the wheel wells a lot better than 16s. And they make the car um, ride a little bit more stiffer, but definitely more smoother. Um, let's see. I think it makes the car look a lot better. Can't really tell. I know it's stuck on, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the clear coat's still peeling. Nothing new there. Say hi to the CRV video coming soon on that. I have it made, I just haven't uploaded it. It's really nice looking wheels. Um, my old tires were Uniroyal Tiger Paw Tourings and they were just absolutely shitty. Um, they were getting really noisy and then the one on the uh, rear passenger was a Z-Tex New Revolution, which I'd never even heard of before. Um, which was put on the car when I bought it. You can see it has HID headlights from the factory. I believe they're 4300 Kelvin or something like that. So I haven't started up. Now um, the car has been driven today, but it's um, not much. You can see I keep this towel over the seat because I wear blue jeans a lot. And they tend to stay in the seat. Oh, where are my keys here? All right. 155,087 miles. Um, I am going to start making these updates every thousand miles or so. What? Pop the hood and the trunk. Let's see, nothing new on the interior. Leather's still in really good shape. I just conditioned it. So it's looking pretty good. There we go. Interior lights. I gotta get a new bulb for this. That uh, light burnt out. But it's been burnt out for like two months now and it still hasn't bothered me. You can see back seat. It's doing really good shape. Still have that splitting door panel over there, but what can you do about that? Tail lights. I would like to do 0203 tail lights. We'll see in the spring. I think I'm gonna hold off and um, on doing anything else until the spring because I don't have any money. Let's see. Decent trunk. I have my car in that shape. The car had to carry four very dirty tires and four very dirty wheels, so it's not exactly clean, but I try. Up under the hood with some rock chips. Um, the hood straps don't like the cold, but it's the uh, 3.2 liter J32 V6 so single overhead cam, uh, VTEC, 225 horse, 217 pound feet of torque. Still running smooth. I'm not gonna rub it because it's cold. And uh, just as a quick reference here, you can see here's the CRV 2015 EX Urban Titanium Metallic. A few uh, videos on that. We come into the garage here. Here are the old wheels. You can see very nasty and salt corroded. I didn't realize how bad they were until uh, I took a closer look at them. Um, if anyone wants to buy these, go ahead. Um, they, they make good winter wheels, but, and I doubt anyone's going to want them. So I'm just going to recycle them. You can see those are the old Uniroyal Tiger Paw Touring tires. Um, these are 205-50... No, 205-60-16s. Um, they're pretty much no good. Um, I mean, the back ones have a little bit of tread left. But these front ones are completely worn. Um, you can see, there's a Uniroyal symbol, and you can see... I just completely wore these out. It's not really picking that up, but I did kind of beat the crap out of these tires, but they were kind of crappy to begin with. I knew I'd be getting tires um, eventually for the car. I was going to hold off till spring, but um, I tried to drive in a little bit of snow. I couldn't even get out of a leveled parking lot. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just get tires and wheels now. And I found a set in my town um, used that were in pretty good shape. So that's what I did. They definitely make the car look a lot better. And 
she's still not well, she's got a little bit of a temp to her. But see, originally when I bought the car, this clock didn't light up, I just punched it a few times and it uh, came back to life, so that's kind of funny. But let's go ahead and shut her down. I know she's not fully up to temp, but I'm going back out in a minute anyways. This ignition's, this ignition's a little finicky when uh, it's cold out. But there are the updates on my 2000 Acura TL. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe for more.